with Skelton Business Equipment here. I'm going to show you today how to use Sharp's new print release on the new MX 4070s, 3070s, 3570s, I believe all the 70 series. Uh, they're called the Advanced Series. We'll do this feature. So, first things first, pull up uh, the web pages of each one of the machines that you'd like to use for this. So you can have up to five devices. One is the primary, and the rest will be secondary. Uh, so there's a few settings that you need to do through the web page. You can see this is the IP address of my main unit, so I'm going to copy this one. And then uh, on this web page, just go ahead and click System Settings, Printer Settings, Print Release Settings, and you'll have to log in right here. The default password is admin, A-D-M-I-N. And we just need to enable print release on this one. Uh, this connecting code can be left blank or you can put um, anything you want in here as long as it matches the secondary units. Uh, this is just another method of authentication. Uh, require authentication when storing. I put this on disable and just leave it on primary unit. All the rest of this can be changed to your liking. Uh, print black and white, print and delete. Uh, those are probably both good to turn on and then you just submit that and then we need to tell the machine on the home page that we are using print release so go to system settings and then home screen settings and change one of these buttons to print release just select that and click submit okay now we'll go to our secondary machine same procedure here uh, system settings, printer settings, print release settings, log in as admin, enable, and now this one will be a secondary unit, and then we'll have to put the IP address of the primary unit in, this is what I copied, uh, and just, just the IP address works fine here, and click submit, and now we need to go to system settings, home screen settings, and tell it that we have print release activated on here as well. Set up a print release button. Now when I want to print something, I'll just go to file print, make sure I choose my primary machine, click preferences, and go to the job handling tab and check this print release box. So now when I print this, it will go to the print release function on all of our touch screens. I've got a touch screen pulled up here. Uh, this is what you'll walk up and you'll see a button, whichever, wherever you created it, it says print release. When you hit this, you'll see the same list here on all of the machines that you have set up. So you can just select this job and print it, or you can delete it. Or you can uh, uncheck this and it will hold on to this job so somebody else could print it later or from another device. Uh, print black and white, you can uncheck that if you want color and you can tell it how many copies of it that you want here. And then just click print. That's all there is to it. Pretty straightforward.